Welcome to the Tennessee Newsroom. I'm Dwayne Gang, and this is our weekly look at politics in Tennessee. I'm joined by my colleague, Michael Cass, and we're going to talk a little bit about some drama that's kind of been unfolding at uh, the Davidson County Election Commission. Uh, you got you obtained a copy of a draft report, I guess the state comptroller's office did, of the election, 2012 elections here, and they found some problems. Sum up what they found, and what are, are these some serious concerns? Well, it was actually the state uh, division the of state elections, division, right. which is part of right. the Secretary of State's office. Um, but uh, yeah, they um, they took a look at every election that was run in Davidson County in 2012, the uh, presidential preference primary, the August primary, and then the November general election, and found issues with each one, um, and with you know mailings that that went out in between, and uh, just lots of different things that uh, that they thought were problematic and that undermined uh, voter confidence. Right. And this is in contrast to a Metro uh, report on the on the on the election commission and how they were they gave them high marks. So what's what are some of the discrepancies here? Well, I, I think the um, the Metro audit was looking a lot at um, general operations. Um, it, it did point out some problems with the November election, shortages of poll workers and printed forms and that kind of thing. Um, but uh, the, uh, the state review was looking at the whole year, and, um, and obviously those, those guys have a little more. Right expertise in that kind of now now the election administrator uh, Albert uh, Tish he he's you were at the, a really lengthy meeting on Friday afternoon I guess it started at two o'clock and it kind of just kept going and going and uh, you had like hundred some odd tweets from the from the meeting I guess it at times got a little heated tell us a little bit about some of the exchanges and what took place on on Friday afternoon or Friday afternoon into Friday evening right well, Tish had compiled a draft response that was longer than the state's review. I think it had appendices going from A to S, <laughs> just looking at all these different issues. And um, and he uh, he at times was just reading from it to the uh, to the election commissioners, four of whom are new and were not around um, during all these elections. Um, he uh, was often very uh, feisty and. Um, seem to be taking um, the review personally and, and responding sometimes in personal terms. Um, and uh, sometimes the election commissioners were, uh, were pushing back pretty hard against his, his claims. Um, Ron Buchanan, who's the new commission chairman and a litigator, uh, was often, or at times, treating uh, Tish like a you know, a witness right, who was on, the stand. on slippery <laughs> ground in the on the stand. Yeah. So, but at the end of the day, uh, literally, <laughs> they uh, they decided not to punish Tish. Um, but it's still quite possible that the state election commission could make a move to do that after getting the final right, report right. in okay. a couple of weeks. So yeah, definitely, we're going to have to. I mean, the integrity of elections is really important. So it's definitely something that you're going to keep following. So. Right. Um, for those uh, interested, uh, you can follow um, uh, Michael on Twitter at TN Metro and, of course, on Tennessean.com. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is an interesting story, uh, kind of a profile of um, a big Republican fundraiser, Ted Welch, long active in politics here in Tennessee. Um, this morning we had a, a fascinating profile of him by um, Joey Garrison, and Joey's here to, to um, kind of give us a rundown and talk a little bit about what we know and kind of who this person was. Joey, um, you talked to and interviewed Senator Alexander. He's been a big fundraiser for Alexander and other Republicans. So what does, uh, I guess, he's kind of on the way out? I mean, he's got some well, health he's issues. Like, yeah, he's, uh, he's it, it, it's sort of gradually circulated among uh, Republican circles in Tennessee that he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's about eight months ago. And, you know, that kind of, you know, obviously a very serious illness that kind of ends his time as a, as a, uh, major fundraiser and political player here in Tennessee. And I, th I just thought it was an appropriate time to maybe look back and do a profile yeah. and just sort of remind people how important he was. Right. Uh, I mean, how I mean, how important was he? I mean, if you were a Republican and you were running for I a mean, statewide yeah, office. He was, he was a guy you had to was, go mm -hmm. sit down and, and, and kind of get his blessing, first of all. And then also, I mean, he's a guy that, that you had to have out there making calls 
uh, organizing events uh, to, to, to raise money. I mean, it's as simple as that. I mean, he was a real uh, kind of behind the scenes player that everyone, uh, Republicans in, 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 in the Oval Office, all the way down to, to state races here in Tennessee. Right. You know, he was important for all those. Yeah, yeah I mean, just candidates. on just on the um, front page today, we have uh, photos of him with uh, George H. W. Bush, Ronald Reagan, and of course George W. Bush. Um, and and I know some interesting things in your that you pointed out in your story that a lot of people said. You know, no one really likes to go ask for for money, yeah, but he the, would, but he was good at it. For anyone who's worked in a political campaign, I think it's the toughest thing to do for both the candidates and anyone working there is is calling people saying, hey. I need two thousand dollars for my race, and I need you to, to give that to me. Well, this guy was a pro at doing it. And there's really, I mean, for some of these national races, like the we're talking about, you, as you noted, friends with Reagan and the Bushes. I mean, there's maybe there was maybe you know a handful of guys like Welch and other geographic parts of the country, and this was a guy. Um, you know, I'm telling you, they, you know, you, if you were to go up to uh, to George W. Bush, he, he would be to be able to tell you a story about Ted Welch. I mean, he, he was that. Uh, influential in, in, in the Republican Party. Now, the Alexander campaign, I understand he's going to have an upcoming um, yeah, and that was event sort of the where other, they're kind of going to be honoring that's sort of him. the other hook right. is, is Tuesday night. It's not, a, it's not an open uh, fundraiser, of course. It's in uh, Williamson County. Um, you know, Welch used to be the guy who, who put together these sorts of events. Well, now it's going to be a, uh, I think it's a uh, salute to Ted Welch. I'm sure they'll be telling stories right. and that kind of thing. Um, I wasn't able to, to sit down uh, with Mr. Welch for my story because of his Alzheimer's uh, disease, uh, but I'm sure there'll be, I, I think he'll be in attendance as well, and uh, it's sort of a way for them to give tribute right. to somebody who's been really right. influential. Well, definitely someone that, um, if you're active in Republican politics, you'll know uh, who he is and what he means to to campaigns and politics in, in, in Tennessee. Joey, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks, and that takes our, our weekly look at um, politics in Tennessee. Of course, you can follow us on Tennessean.com and our politics blog in session. Um, thanks for watching us, and we'll be back next week.